In uh, this video, let's consider the basic idea involved with a line integral. Say that we're just in the xy plane, and we have a curve that goes from A to B, and we're moving a particle along that curve. But at each point on the curve, the force differs. So suppose we're at this point, where the force vector is here. We can resolve this now into a normal component and a tangential component. And suppose that we know what this is, the, t the magnitude of the tangential component. And we multiply that magnitude by this tiny little uh, differential arc length, ds. And if we could do that then, for each of the different force vectors along the curve, take their tangential component and multiply it by the differential ds along each point along the curve and add them all up, that would essentially be what a, a line integral entails. So it'd have like this general formula. Again, at each point we take the tangential component of the um, force vector, multiply it by ds, and then add them all up. So that's the basic idea. How exactly do you do the computation? So let's take a look at our problem in a little bit more detail. Here is our curve going from A to B. And these lines coming out from the origin, that's the um, position vector r. And remember, r has a general form. It's very simple. Position vector r equals x i plus y j. And let's pretend that this is a small differential arc length here. So going from here to here would be dr, where dr is completely parallel to ds. So the tangential component of the force, if we had a force vector here, the tangential component of that force vector, the magnitude of it, times ds, that would equal f dot dr. And this is the general expression then for a line integral. This integral would equal this integral. Or, as you see in a moment, another way of expressing the line integral is p dx plus another different quantity, q times dy. How this arises, we'll see in just a few moments. Um, here, this is now, if r is a position vector, dr, that's just dx i plus dy j. Or sometimes you will see the line integral as f dot dl. Again, this just being a differential line segment. But let's just um, take a specific example. Suppose we have this kind of a setup. We're in the xy plane. And say our curve is something like this. The equation of the curve is y equals 1 plus x squared. So this is at the point 0, 1. And let's say we're going down to here where x is 2. Then y would be 5. So this would be the point 2, 5. And let's say that this curve is in a force field. 
where the force always differs, say it's equal to x. That's the y component of it. And say the j component is this. So as we're moving along the curve, x and y changes, so the force that the particle feels that continually continuously changes along the curve. And let's say that we wanted to know how much work it would take to move the particle from here to here. Work, of course, is force times distance, so it would be the tangential component of the force along that curve times that differential arc length, and then add them all up from here to here, or that's the same thing as f dot dr. And here is f, and again, now we could imagine that for our curve, that we have position vectors coming out like this, and dr, again, that general expression is dxi plus dyj. Now we need to know f dot dr. And that should be pretty straightforward. That would be x dx. plus 3y dy. And we need to integrate this. So notice here's our line integral. It has this general form, some quantity p times dx plus a different quantity q times dy. Now how would we integrate this? We have dx's, dy's, we don't know what the limits are, but we can use this fact, the equation of our curve, and for y we can substitute this, and dy that would just be 2x dx. So let's write it out like that. We have 3 times y, that's 1 plus x squared, and then we had dy, that would be 2x dx. And x goes from here, that was 0 over to 2. So it looks like this should be pretty straightforward integral. We have from 0 to 2 x dx plus 3 times 2, that's 6x dx, added to this, that's 7x dx. Plus 3x squared times 2x, 3 times 2 is 6x cubed, dx. So we really have two integrals here, but this is pretty straightforward, so let's just keep it written like it is. That's 1 half x squared, so we'll have 7 halves x squared. x goes from 0 to 2, plus this would be x to the 4th over 4. 6 divided by 4, that's the same as 3 divided by 2, and x goes from 0 to 2. So we have 7 over 2, put 2 in here, 2 squared is 4. plus 3 halves, 2 to the 4th is 16. Seven times two is 14, plus that goes into there, eight, 
8 times 3 is 24 equals 38. So that's it. So what we did was we had not just a general force, but not just a force vector, but any general vector like this. And we considered the line integral of this vector along this curve y equals 1 plus x squared. Now initially our integral had this general form where we had x's and y's and dx's and dy's but with this substitution then our integral was expressed in terms of entirely of x and dx. After that it was pretty simple to solve the rest of the problem. Anyway, that's a basic demonstration then of um, the fundamental concept involved with a line integral and working just a, a basic problem. And some of the other uh, videos will maybe tackle some more complicated uh, problems. Anyway, the playlist for this video series on vector analysis, that playlist is at the website uh, digital-university.org.